Hi. All right, so I just got out of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, um, the one with Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. Um, so the first, I'd say the first half of the movie, it's, I felt like it was so focused on trying to make sure that everything looked exactly like the genre that they were, the time period. Every car, every sign, every brand of like the dog food, um, all the neon signs, um, the clothing. I feel like a huge budget was probably put out trying to make it very authentic. But I don't know if that's a good thing that I was thinking so much about that and not, I wasn't lost in the movie. I was just thinking, oh, wow, you know, they really had to find that car. And, oh, they really had to find everything was so specific. And everybody just smoked up a storm the whole time. So much smoking. Um, so that was my first, just the first half, I feel like, was just setting up, like, this is what it was like. Um, then it starts getting pretty interesting about halfway through, then I start thinking more about the characters and I'm starting to become endeared with the relationship between Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio's characters where like they have a really nice buddy thing going, which I'm starting to really like get attached to. Um, there was two weird things. One of them was in the scene when Leonardo is dressed up you know, with the mustache and the long hair, and he's that character, which was so good. Um, and they have three weird cutaways when he's talking to the the good guy in in the show that he's playing. And I don't know if that was an accident or not. They just like quick cutaways, but I didn't see how it had anything to do with the film. And then there was something else weird that happened later where Brad Pitt, the first time he remembers buying the special cigarette from the hippie girl, it was a different actress than the second time. And I don't know how many mind games Quentin Tarantino plays in his movies, why it would be one girl the first time and another girl the second time. And maybe I think that's what happened. Um, then um, I am getting attached to the movie and I am caring what happens to the people. I'm not as caught up in the fact that it's such a timey time piece. And, uh, then I just really enjoy the story, but you know, I thought it was going to go one way and it went another way, which I won't, I won't spoil that, but I really enjoyed the way that it was the surprise I really enjoyed that. It made me feel happy. And then once again, because um, the last movie I reviewed was Midsummer, the violence was very funny. It was, I thought it was funny. I think it was done to be funny. And, you know, I think Brad Pitt is, he's good when he does comedy. I really like him as a comedic actor. They are both amazing actors. And, you know, it's like there were other people in the movie and I'm not even talking about him. You know, there was a little girl actress that was really good. And Margot, the one who played Sharon Tate, you know, she kind of just looked pretty and kind of just, she didn't really have very much depth. But, you know, you liked her because she just seemed like a nice person. But really, it really was the Leonardo and Brad Pitt show. And, uh, I mean, I just got out of the movie theater and that's really what is resonating with me right now. I know that sometimes other things can come up like a couple days later after a movie, but, uh, it was a good movie. I liked it. And I really liked seeing those guys together. Oh, this is so funny because there's a scene where Brad Pitt takes off his shirt and a lady in the theater like gasped. It just made me laugh because it was a little bit exciting. It's, I mean, it's just not every day you see a guy like that just take his shirt off 
And you know what? There was no sex. I don't think there was, there was no sex, not even a kiss, which is so unusual for a movie. Um, I like that. That was interesting. I kept thinking, oh, there's not going to be any love story aspect really to this at all. It was a bromance. This is a bromance movie. That's what it is. It was good. I liked it.